Alright, this is the Vigibiz Biz for the month of August. Uh, this is Primus with Orange Anime. Um, I did not have a Vigibiz Biz last month. I realized this. I was way too busy. Um, I'm transferring attractions over at my job. I've got a lot of shit going on. Uh, I'm working like 60 hours a week, so there might not be one next month, but you know, I'm trying my hardest to put one out this month. I'm recording this at 1 o'clock in the morning, and I go to work in 6 hours. So, uh, yeah, I apologize. But, um, alright, let's get this thing rolling. Xbox 360. Alright, um, the Xbox Live Autumn dashboard previews next week. Next week. Alright, um, so, if you've had Xbox Live for a little while, I don't know, in the last update we got six months, maybe. Um, every, well, twice a year, there is, there are two, uh, updates for the dashboard that we get. We get a fall update and a spring update. This is the fall update, obviously. Um, coming out probably around November is when they usually come out. Um, but the preview, which only select Xbox Live members are getting a glimpse of, is uh, going on next week, which should be just about the time this podcast comes out. Um, there are going to be a few features that they will be showing and a few that they will not. Um, I know there will be Netflix video streaming, the Avatar Marketplace, Xbox Live parties, and a few other uh, cool little things that you can probably find if you Google. Um, the only features that are not included are Last.fm, Facebook, and Twitter integration, and the Zoom HD Instant On videos, which are awesome. But uh, I know that the Xbox 360 Games On Demand service, which is... You know how you can go on the you know the marketplace and download Xbox Live Arcade games as well as Xbox Originals? Well, they are sorry, that was my phone. They are making of or bleh, they are making Xbox 360 games available for download straight to your hard drive, so you don't have to go and buy them. I like having hard copies on disc of my games because I'm a collector. But for those of you who, I don't know, you know, little kids got mommy's, uh, mommy's credit card, you can go on here, download it, you don't have to ask her for a ride, she can just give you a credit card. Uh, it's going to have titles like uh, Mass Effects and a few others, as far as I know, when it first uh, launches. And I don't know when that's going to be released, but I know they're doing a preview for that as well early August. So that'll be, probably be right after this podcast is uh, is uh, released. All right. Um, Sony warns home identity thieves will be punished. Apparently what's going on in the uh, PlayStation home community is there are some bad apples going around uh, asking... <laughs> Asking people for their identification and password, uh, claiming to be offering them, like, exclusive items. Like, hey man, give me your password and your ID and I'll, uh, I'll give you this, uh, free shit. <laughs> okay, here you go. Wait, I can't log back into my account. What the hell's up with this? But, um, I, I really don't know how stupid people can be. I don't know if these people, I don't own a PlayStation 3, so I don't know exactly what's going on. But if they're pretending to be like staff or something, you have to remember staff will never ask you for your password or any personal information. Um, if they really need that information, they can always get it uh, themselves. <laughs> Their staff, they can pretty much do whatever they want. Um, it's uh, Sony's sitting here basically, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's wrong. It's illegal. It's not okay. Um, so any of you on the PlayStation Network, I don't think anyone listening to this will be that stupid. But just a heads up, don't give your ID and your password out. That goes that's not even just for PlayStation. That's for that's for anything on the internet, man. If anyone asks you for your identification and password, pretending saying that they're, you know, moderators or staff or whatever game you're playing or chat room you're in, it's don't don't give anybody any kind of password to anything. Unless you know them in real life and you can always like go to their house and kick their ass or something. But if you don't know the person, just you know, let it be. Um Yes, yeah, so uh, apparently Sony knows about the about you know what's going on. Um, they know all the specific people. They have uh, breached the terms of service, which warrants in a ban. And apparently they're looking. <laughs> Sony's claiming it's illegal and that they're gonna have these people fined. 
Um, I don't know how far that's going to go because they're not like, I mean, it's kind of like theft, but they're not like stealing money or anything. I mean, it's, it happens all the time. It's been happening since the start of the internet. <laughs> I mean, back in, people still get their RuneScape uh, accounts hacked, not even hacked, stolen. But, um, yeah, don't give your password to people. That's it. So, Lionsgate Films, these are the guys behind the Saw series and uh, tons of other movies. They want and believe that the We Will Have a Movie channel soon. Um, and they're saying that it'll be worldwide as well. The uh, they, they just want to know, or they, they want the world to know, that uh, Lionsgate is looking at digital distribution over gaming consoles. And, once again... They're looking to do that soon. Um, they think the uh, the Wii's movie store will launch soon, as far as the Wii goes. They're not sure about other consoles yet, but um, I mean, I can see why they're doing this. The same reason Net Netflix did it, um, because the the game machine is already the console is already connected to the television, and it's it's a major point in the home to bring movies like it's it's really easy to bring movies over the internet to the television um they think the the horror and the action movies will be uh ideal for the you know the the uh, xbox and playstation's hardcore audience while the broader audience of the wii are more likely to enjoy the uh, the mass market properties it does make a bit more sense than the uh the rumor about the about Netflix showing up on the Wii. Um, if it does happen soon, the lack of HD will probably drive most people from the Wii to the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3. But then again, um, HD isn't that big of a deal to the majority of you know people, the, the majority of the population, since uh, the majority of the population doesn't have an HD television. Uh, I think that he is right. I think that Lionsgate is right, and I think that the Wii will bring them a good amount of money if the uh, the channel comes to the rest of the world.